Our God is good, our God is kind, whose grace is great and mercy sure, and the whole race of humankind. God's truth from age to age endure. Good evening. Welcome to the Daily Office. Thank you for joining me. This is Night Prayer for Friday, October the 4th. It's the feast day of St. Francis of Assisi. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 149, 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 16 to 27. Our help is in the name of God Most High, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. O merciful God, source of all being, we confess that we have sinned through our own fault, in our thoughts and words and deeds, and in what we have failed to do. We have not loved you with our whole hearts. We have not loved our neighbor as ourselves. We beseech you, overlook our faults, cast our sins behind your back, that we may serve you and praise you all the days of our lives. Amen. And may the Almighty and merciful God forgive us all our sins in Jesus' holy name. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, praise God, sing to God a new song, and sing God's praise in the congregation of the saints. Let Israel rejoice in God their maker, let the children of Zion be joyful in their sovereign. Let them praise God's name in the dance. Let them sing praises to God with timbrel and harp. For you take pleasure in your people, and you beautify the meek with salvation. Let the saints be joyful in glory, and let them sing aloud on their beds. Let the high praises of God be in their mouth, and a two-edged sword in their hand to execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishments upon the people, to bind their rulers with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron, and to execute upon them the judgment written. This honor have all God's saints. Praise God. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, praise God, and sing to God a new song. Alleluia. The lesson is from Paul's first letter to the Corinthians, chapter 9, beginning at verse 16. If I proclaim the gospel, this gives me no ground for boasting, for an obligation is laid on me, and woe to me if I do not proclaim the gospel. For if I do this of my own will, I have a reward, but if not of my own will, I am entrusted with a commission. What then is my reward? Just this, that in my proclamation I may make the gospel free of charge, so as not to make full use of my rights in the gospel. For though I am free with respect to all, I have made myself a slave to all so that I might win more of them. To the Jews I have become a Jew, in order to win Jews. To those under the law I became as one under the law, though I myself am not under the law, so that I might win those under the law. To those outside the law I became as one outside the law, though I am not free from God's law, but am under Christ's law so that I might win those outside the law. To the weak I became weak, so that I might win the weak. I have become all things to all people, that I might by all means save some. I do it all for the sake of the gospel, so that I may share its blessings. 
Do you not know that in a race the runners all compete, but only one receives the prize? Run in such a way that you may win it. Athletes exercise self-control in all things. They do it to receive a perishable wreath, but we an imperishable one. So I do not run aimlessly, nor do I box as though I'm beating the air, but I punish my body and enslave it so that after proclaiming to others, I myself should not be disqualified. Here ends the lesson. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O God of truth. Keep us as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Lord, make us instruments of your peace. Where there is hatred, let us sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is discord, union. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. And where there is sadness, joy. Grant that we <clears throat> may not so much seek to be consoled as to console. To be understood as to understand. To be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. Alleluia, O tender God, you have seduced me, and I was seduced. Alleluia. And the Almighty and merciful God, the source of all being, eternal word, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.